What's up guys, this is Meek and I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to find the relative minor pentatonic or minor period on your guitar. So when you're playing, you'll have just more ways to be creative with your soloing, you know what I mean? And if you're transcribing, you can play some licks in between everything and it's really helped me, okay? So I'm a self-taught person and I know this because I just play and practice to songs all day. I like to transcribe and pick out the vocal lines and every song is in the major scale. I can tell you because I've been playing a lot of songs, gospel, R&B, pop, all in major scales. Of well, Some of you may know that, but some people don't know that. So your major scales is very important to know. I'll make another video about why major scales is important. Um, but yeah, so this is going to just show you the relative minor so you can play more while you're solo and give you more ideas and you can just stretch through the guitar neck more easy if you just know this one thing is simple i'm telling you okay so yes let's get into it okay so this is what you need to do if your song say is in g major or d or a you need to play that major scale on the third string our third string is going to be our guide. The third string is very important, okay? All right, so third string, A, B, A, B, C, B, 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 G, B, B, C. All right, so say if I'm playing um, a song and it's in a key of D major. I know D major is... Okay, the way I find what the relative minor is, is that it's going to be the bass note on the sixth string directly above it. So here on our B, on the seventh fret of the sixth string is going to be our relative minor, okay? So what I just said, let me repeat it again. So if you're playing a D, major key, the relative minor is going to be the bass note on the sixth string directly above that root note. The root note is D. Okay? So what I'm doing here, I am playing the B minor pentatonic, which is normally one, four, one, three, But here is not it's gonna be one three, but on the last two strings it's gonna be one, two, four, one, three, four. Okay? Because you're playing that major in there. So to make it simple, this is the minor pentatonic, B minor pentatonic. Along with the major scale, it's how you add together major and minor scales okay and you can play it in different octaves if you want to but like that's a simple way because it's accessible all of the notes are accessible and you can do that with every um scale okay so say if i wanted to know the relative minor of c the bass note on the sixth string directly above it would be A, so it would be A minor. So A minor is the relative minor to C major. Okay, let's do another one, because that was kind of popular. All right, let's do C, D, E, let's do F. The relative, okay, let's play the F major. The relative minor to F will be D. All right. So that means when you play a F major scale, Okay, let's do 
another random one. So let's do A flat major. The relative minor to A flat major is going to be F minor. All right, we're going to check that. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. Let's do B. The relative minor to B major is going to be G sharp major. skills all right but I hope you get that okay so let's do one more let's do a what is the relative minor to a major it would be F sharp major I mean F sharp minor super easy okay all right so i'm going to show you now how to find the relative measure of any minor key all right so say if we are at c c minor <laughs> The relative minor is going to be E flat major. Okay, and I know this because I just give you the number. It's going to be the seventh note that you play in a minor pentatonic scale. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's E flat. Okay, so let's count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do um, A minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be a C. Now, basically, it's just backwards. It's just backwards, backwards from what we learned, okay? That's simple, but if you have a song that's in A minor and it doesn't say C, you can figure out the relative major by finding the seven note that you play okay all right i hope that makes sense um yeah <laughs> so i hope that makes sense it's just how my brain understands um it's how my brain figures out the relative major and minor and things like that and you know what i'm saying so that just it just it helps me so i just wanted to share it and pass it along it's you know, more than one way to skin a cat, you know what I mean? So you may have um, another way or easier way, but this is easy and I only do things the easy way. So thank you for watching. I hope it helped you.